Welcome to this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to recrystallise your product to make it purer. When you come into the lab, you need to be wearing your lab coat fully done up and have your safety glasses on and over your eyes. All of the lab scripts contain COSH and risk assessment information and you need to have read this before you start working. I'm going to be recrystallising benzoic acid. So this is pure benzoic acid. It's white and you can see it's a little bit shiny. This is the impure benzoic acid. It's got a slight pink tinge from the synthesis. So you recrystallize this and as part of the purification, you're taking out the pink from the methyl orange and you're getting white benzoic acid. You have just collected your benzoic acid by vacuum filtration. So you've still got it on the Buckner funnel. You don't need to collect it or dry it because we're recrystallizing it. You don't need to do the product. So I'm just going to scrape it out of here and into the beaker. So the aim is to scrape it all out and to leave the filter paper behind. And you want to try and get all of it out because if you don't, you'll be reducing your yield. So, a bit more. and just put that to one side. I now have all of my product, depending on how good you are, you could have more than me. So I've got some water, turn the hot plate on to start heating. You need to recrystallize with the minimum volume of hot solvent. To start mine off, I'm going to put a little bit of distilled water in and I'm going to have that on the hot plate. And when I'm doing this, I'm going to be transferring hot solvent into the solid. So this water needs to be boiling. You can see that this one is starting to boil because I've not got much solution in. So it's going to transfer some across. And I'm going to use a glass rod to dissolve it. Now this is hot, so if you're holding it, touch, hold at the top. So keep stirring it and you want all of your benzoic acid to dissolve. And because it's crystallising around the side, I am sort of putting the water around to make sure that dissolves. going to add a bit more water and 
and I'm going to wait for that to heat up before I add it again. When it's at this nearly dissolved stage, you need to be careful that you're adding a little bit more so that you're dissolving rather than not adding more and it's on a hot plate and you're losing solvent by evaporation and the start of it boiling. So the volume decreasing so your crystals are crashing out again. And when you're doing this, do look at what you've got left in to see that it's, in this case, benzoic acid and it isn't floating filter paper because you've scratched filter paper off. So now I've added it, it's all dissolved. I'm going to take it off and initially leave it on the bench to cool and then I'm going to put it in an ice bath and you can watch the video on how to do an ice bath. So after you've put it in an ice bath for about 10 minutes until you've got all of your crystals, you want to then collect it via vacuum filtration and dry it between two pieces of filter paper. Thanks for watching and if you've any questions send me an email.